Well, I'm delighted to say I'm joined now by David Bartholow, who's a graphic designer from Los Angeles, who won a prestigious competition, the first ever of its type, held by ESPN to decide who designs the famous Wimbledon poster. There's a poster for every single one of the Grand Slams, and this man standing beside me, David, uh, designed the one for Wimbledon this year. He can actually show it to us now. And this is David's effort. And what, I think you'll agree, what a fabulous effort it is in the traditional purple and green. And David, congratulations on winning uh, the prestigious prize. How did you come up with this uh, classic design? Uh, very tough to say. A lot of iterations, a lot of editing, a lot of throwing away and just sort of trying to look at it objectively and see if I liked it by the time uh, it was time to submit it. And did you look at previous posters, previous ones from other years, or did you just decide to go with, obviously, with the color scheme, but your own design? Well, the color scheme was defined by Wimbledon, like in the design brief when the competition uh, was issued. And uh, I looked at a couple of posters, particularly the 2012, which I thought was an interesting one. Some of the other previous ones seemed a little bit more traditional. Um, but I kind of looked to external sources, honestly. Um, I'm very influenced by British graphic design, independent British graphic design and things like that. So just tried to, you know, sort of tap my taste and sort of see if I could try to, I don't know, find, a, find something that I thought was interesting and worthwhile. And you had to impress a rather impressive collection of individuals to decide who won this competition. Chrissy Everett, John McEnroe and Philip Brook, who's the Wimbledon chairman. Did you have any contact with them after you'd won the, tour, uh, won the competition? I did not, actually. I saw... Uh, uh, the original news story on Wimbledon.com, but no contact be beyond that. And was it an enjoyable process? We talk about the creative process. Was it an enjoyable process coming from perhaps the first design that you came up with to the final thing that you now see on the poster? It was enjoyable. It was agonizing um, because I felt some bit of a performance anxiety, like kind of going into it. I was like, I really have to do this. And I had some designs that I just wasn't very happy with that I aborted. and. Uh, started from scratch kind of late in the game and then found something that I kind of dug and just continued with it. So um, enjoyable, agonizing, fun, a bit of a relief and honestly quite a bit of an honor to be here. And what a wonderful prize it was to come here. You've been on center court, you've seen yep. some great tennis. Is it your first time at Wimbledon? It is, yeah. I actually queued here in 2000 but did not get in. So it's kind of funny 14 years later coming back and sitting front row on center court. And what are your impressions of the tournament? I mean, it's phenomenal. It's been a very special couple of days and uh, certainly the premier tennis tournament in the world without question. And just talk us through some of the matches you've seen so far. Have you seen to, been able to see some great matches on both I sides? I did. I saw Nadal, uh, Sharapova and Federer on Saturday, which was a pretty epic Saturday with, uh, you know, three champions, former champions, all with a career grand slam. I uh, just saw Eugenie Bouchard and uh, about to see Andy and uh, Djokovic in a little bit here. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad you've enjoyed your time. It certainly is a wonderful design. The poster, if you are on the grounds, is available at the Wimbledon shop. And thanks very much, David, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.